come into this week, I think it was, um, you know, a real eye opener to how good that we can be, you know, in practice. And so we felt good about our matches coming up. We had Note interacting really well with everybody. We had Note join us. So that was good. You know, it's not as much time as you would want in order to try and build up a new synergy, especially in such a critical role like off tank. But Note is an absolutely fantastic individual, not only in his actual you know quantitative play, but also in the way he acts as a teammate and as a leader. You know, he's not a, an A-type personality. He doesn't need to be in charge or micro other people. He just makes everybody else better. You know, gives them the information that they need and helps them achieve the things that they want to achieve in the middle of the game. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go, baby. And then Damon coming in and working pretty seamlessly with the coaching staff, you know. Now, we kind of moved him to more of this strategical role. Um, where I can have him focusing specifically on the micro parts of the strategy, the little things. Damon is somebody who I had experience playing against during the World Cup, and just through one series having played against him, uh, he earned quite a bit of my respect for his abilities as a coach. I've given Damon the ability to be you know, a prominent voice uh, within the team, but it means that it, it frees me up to be able to, to do a little more with, with the players and with the environment as a whole, so it feels good to um, you know, have noticeable improvement, not just with the players, but also with the staff and how everything's functioning. Being given, you know, week one by, it meant that you know, we could spend a little extra time scouting and working on ourselves, but also meant that, you know, we could see a lot about our opponents and see how we could beat them. So Damon put a large amount of effort into making sure that we had all of the possible scenarios on lock and ready to go. And especially when we went to so many multiple rounds on Paris, uh, both Toronto and Paris Eternal when we played them. Uh, quite a few of those scenarios proved useful and I think that he was instrumental. It's the week before Toronto. Uh, we actually played great, we started playing great, we started on these things and made out way better. And so we came in with that confidence and with that prep that we knew exactly what they were going to do, we knew exactly how we were going to counter it, and we came with the confidence to do that. I think that this week and the prep, the amount, everything that we put into this Toronto match, the passion the players had this week and everything really was, you know, just a, sh a show of like how hard everyone wants to work to be the best. Give me some words of wisdom. What is right life advice? Yeah, like for my life, what should I do? What should eat, what should do? Do <laughs> Don't eat too much, go gym every day with me. And then, that's it. Uh, the morale going into the Toronto match was kind of, you know, not excited, not worried or anything. It was just kind of like, hey, it's uh, another game, you know, we're here to win. We're a professional team and I think everybody was just uh, confident in their abilities. For me, I don't think like they're really, really like scary team. So I j we just had confidence like to win. So I, I was like, I just couldn't wait uh, to play on stage. First match of the stage, feeling good, we're confident. We're gonna be number one, baby. Number one, baby. All right, let's redo that. <clears throat> First half of the match, being control and uh, and the two CP map types. You know, those were the types that, um, for that match, we were. That was the, the two maps that we were least confident on. Even though we were still, you know, extremely confident about taking the win on both those maps, Toronto had probably the best chance of winning on those two maps. How you going? We're gonna get fold. What's gonna happen? Three one. Fold. All right, for go us. Go. Hey, go fast. Go ahead and bring in our first team, ladies and gentlemen. Please give a warm welcome to the Dallas Fuel. Taking it down. This Dallas Fuel maintaining control and cleaning up the kills. Numbers advantage is gonna win them this map. There's no way that the Defiant can come back. They tag. They try as they might. There's no way to turn it. Listen. Because they opened like that, they have no clue what the f*** they're going to do, okay? So we have priority in this match. So be confident, and we can totally f*** on them here. Go, 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 go. I'm really spy checking that much. Four people going to get caught. Yakpo killed the night as well. And that will just be a very clean take on the fight. AKM is over onto the Widow here. Rez will come back through some closer. And Yakpo is going to be too far. He's going to get down again. Nice. 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 Nice.
Not even gonna make it into the water with his life intact. They will just go ahead and assassinate him in midair. Tracer coming, Tracer coming. 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 Tracer you know, we knew that this was going to be a 4-0 series. Keep up the mentality on what our spots are going to be and make sure we're, we're doing our GOAT stuff perfect. Follow up on bashes, listen for calls, ultimate tracking every time. It will be good, okay? All right, keep it up, boys. Let's get it. It's really working for the four line. Oh, it's upset a little bit now. So it's already the EMP going to be coming through. Everybody going to be just obscuring. Okay, yeah. Making up the banish to help the rest of the squad. Don't search for good measures. Sound barrier will start things off, and Yakumuk is already hitting the floor dead. I'm 37 gone. Ivy, etc. Everyone around him falling. Dallas Fuel making it look easy here on King Crow. Very nice. Good job, good job. Zachary rejoins over here on the wrecking ball. Eight gonna be taken down. Both finds the kill. Young boys getting juggled around. He can't make it over onto the point. Oh, Dallas Fuel. Here we go. Imagine dying. Melted down, grab comes through onto the car. Dallas Fuel looking to end things right here. They don't want more OT rounds, and they're not gonna have them. Bomb for celebration. Dallas Fuel will take him for the 4-0. I think we played. I think we played pretty well. Um, definitely something that I know that we could do, and we can do this every single time. Okay, we're gonna come in with the same energy. We're gonna come in and we're, and we're gonna stomp these guys. Yeah, boys. I uh, actually think that match, we played the best of that we played this season so far. As a team, we played, we almost played perfectly. A few, of course, we still made a few mistakes, but we played really well. So I was really happy, really proud of the team, and I was looking forward to the, the match on the next day. So we were very happy with that performance, and we wanted to take that energy and roll it into the next match, the Paris match, because that match actually, I think, meant a lot to a lot of the players, you know, with having uh, AKM, uh, Anko and Damon on the team now. Um, beating the Paris team actually was like a pretty big deal. Uh, I mean, for Anko, Damon and I, obviously, uh, we wanted to beat them so bad because our friends are there. Damon, Damon was a head coach of Paris uh, right before, actually. And uh, yeah, so like a bit of a vendetta. We wanted to basically prove them that we were the better franchise. Uh, uh, of the league. Now and listen, we're gonna have prove, have we're gonna pr prove to everyone that we have the better French. All right? So what do they say? Oui. Oui. We're gonna on se les fait. On se les fait. On se les fait on three. Okay, ready? One, two, three. On se les fait. On se les fait. It means uh, we're gonna get them, we're gonna beat them. Uh, that's what we were saying in Team France back in the days. Uh, enough of that stuff. Let's bring them right on the stage. Everybody say a warm hello to the Dallas Fuel. And they do, they drop down, but soon is waiting for this. Let the crab go. It was a big earth shatter from Ochi, but it doesn't matter. No, it comes to the pump. That's huge. Benning rid of the shield of LH Cloud, and the Dallas Fuel have climbed back into the fight once again. Cruz haven't gone down. That was bad for the eternal. They have no speed boost, no more healing from him, and it's all over. It's carnage on the point as the Dallas Fuel roll over the top. That first pick gives them the fight and the first map. It's the flash bank. There are two of these very slippery characters for McCree to deal with in Tracer and Sombra, though. That's a lot on his plate. Soon has to really go above and beyond the call with Judy here. But without Cloudy, it's going to be very hard for the Eternal to even engage the fight, let alone win it. And there it is, Oki pushes forward. He gives up his life. He knows it was worth it. And there it is, the draw on Paris. It's going to make him the best gamer in existence. Speaking of the best gamer in existence. Okay, okay. okay. You guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. Like, like stay cool, stay calm. Yeah. 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 He lands right on top of Soon, who did use the EMP, but the follow-up, not really there. Closer was even able to use the sound barrier, despite the rest of his team having their abilities taken away from them, and still the Phil is able to steamroll through the Eternal. OG, that's filthy! It's the rally comes through OG with a shatter. We know how good he was early on. Oh, there's a massive one. Done and soon both going down. OG getting cloudy even with the shatter damage. That was the transcendence, but he didn't even need to use it. That was about as one sided as that's his depths. But the Finzi couldn't find a kill with that Diva ultimate. Now it's up to Gray. It's up to Finzi. But the ladder gets taken out of his mech already. And Gray is down. And Dallas Fuel takes Blizzard well. Damn on. <laughs> and 
So taking taking Blizzard World and going, you know, two zero and you know, meaning that we won the series, um, was a great feeling. In Rialto, I think the team was just very very happy to have gotten the win, and it was by far our sloppiest map. It was. Uh, pretty bad if we were kind of trying to look at it in isolation but you know by that point we'd already won and at least we got some footage that we can review to make ourselves even better uh going into the vancouver game next week uh, the thing that stands out is i think everyone know that og played really amazing uh, i think he pretty much carried us to victory he played uh, perfectly whatever he was playing he was playing right now he was playing monkey he was playing like like a boss basically i don't know how I played where. I don't know, just I played like my game. I mean, I think one thing is like uh, last stage one, I had a nervous problem, but after Toronto match, like what is nervous? I don't know, just my nervous was gone. So maybe that's why I could play where. So there's good things and bad things about having a two win week. You know, if the wins had both been four O's, it wouldn't have given us a lot of practical information about what we truly need to improve. So winning twice in the same weekend, you know, that's a big confidence booster, but it's going to be harder for us in order to kind of find the flaws that haven't shown themselves yet. However, you know, we are confident in both our coaching structure, everybody knows what their jobs are, as well as we're confident in our players to be able to perform the strategies that we work with and come up with. So Vancouver is gonna be a tough opponent. I mean, it's not an ideal situation, certainly, but uh, we're definitely gonna give it our best shot. And I want, at the very least, to bloody their noses. Okay, we have a very tough match. Titans is the best team of the league right now. They won stage one. The meta is kind of similar, but I believe we are a very good team here. And I believe if we play our best, uh, we can beat them and we can beat anyone in the league if we play our best. We're actually at a, at a, a pretty good high right now, you know, in terms of where we've been over the, you know, over the past year. I think we're in a great spot, but, you know, the main thing, and I think like everyone agrees from the players to the staff, is like, you know, we're not done here. This isn't our peak. Like we want to keep growing and keep going. We want to be, you know, the first team that takes a win from Toronto. We want to, we want to take the stage. And and even though it may not look like we're the best team right now, I think that we can be. I always thought like Vancouver is not a strong team. Just they have good player, but I don't think like they have like good strategy or something. So and. I don't like to see like after they are winning when they have interview. Pompo always say I'm best man tank. I disagree with that. So to be honest, just I have confidence. So if we can play well, I think we can just <laughs> beat them. <laughs>